Today I'm going to be teaching you guys a very neat little trick that I've been using lately where you can hear the music and very specific sounds while I'm live streaming, but then when that live stream gets a clip or becomes a VOD, those sounds and that music is nowhere to be found. It's a very simple little trick, takes only a few minutes and makes a whole world of difference, especially if you want to use those VODs or those clips without the music in the background. Let's do this. <laughs> How's it going guys? Hope you all having a fantastic day. My name is DSynchro and you heard me right. There is actually a very, very neat little trick that you can do in the latest version of OBS that can literally separate the audio track that goes towards what your viewers are listening while you're live and what goes to your VOD after you finish streaming. And anything that gets clipped along the way as well can actually be set to that track so then you no longer have music or very specific sounds on that audio track. Let's go to OBS and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. So here we are in OBS guys and I will show you exactly what to do in order to enable this feature and how to configure your audio channels so then what your viewers will hear while you are live is different from what's going to be on your VODs or clips whenever they get made. This is what you have to do. So first of all, head over to the settings section on your OBS and go over to output. <clears throat> on your output section you should see something that says Twitch VOD track uses track two. If you can't see this, then there's probably two reasons. Number one, you are not streaming on Twitch, you're streaming on YouTube or some other platform where this feature is not available, or your version of the OBS is not the most up-to-date one. As far as I'm concerned, this feature only works on Twitch and will only work on OBS 26.1.0 and above. So, once you head over to output, you should see something that says Twitch VOD track uses track two. All you gotta do, is select that checkbox. Now, if you happen to be using the output mode advanced, it's a little bit different. You have the audio track one, which is this is where all your audio is gonna go to your live stream. And then you have Twitch VOD track two, and you can select which track you wish to use. I usually just leave it at two, and there you go. So basically, all this is telling is, audio track one is what your viewers are gonna hear, Twitch VOD track is what's gonna be on the VOD, and what's gonna be on the clips. Click apply and click OK, and the feature has been officially enabled on your OBS. Now, I'm going to show you <clears throat> how to configure it, your audio tracks, so then what your viewers will hear will actually be different from what's gonna be on your VOD. So, I have three audio sources on my computer right now. I have my microphone, which as you can see, is being used. I have my music, which is what I want everyone to hear, but not be on the VOD. And I have system audio. System audio is basically your game audio and whatnot, which I want to be on both. This is what you have to do. Right click on any of these audio mixers and go to advanced audio properties. A new window is going to pop up. Now, for some people, this may seem a little bit too complex, but I assure you it's incredibly, incredibly easy. All you have to do, guys, in order to make it so the music that you have on your stream will be audible by your viewers, but will not be on the VOD and your clips, all you have to do is follow through where the music is and uncheck that. That's it. I'm not even kidding. It's that simple. So basically, this is what's happening. It's basically telling OBS to actually output these three tracks, microphone, music, and system audio to audio track one, which is what your viewers are gonna hear while you're live. And then on audio track two, only output your microphone and your system audio, but not the music. And that's literally it. So that's it, everybody. It's literally that simple. From now on, every time you go live, that sweet, sweet music that you've been listening to, Everyone will be able to hear, but whenever they make a clip or that, or when your live stream becomes a VOD, that music will be nowhere to be found. How awesome is that? Guys, I hope this video helped you. Honestly, thank you so much for tuning in. I really, really do appreciate it. Come check us out on our stream. I stream Monday to Friday at 4 p.m. Australia Western Standard Time on Twitch, and on Saturdays, I stream on YouTube at the same time. Guys, thank you very much for being here. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, come check me out on the stream and I'm happy to answer any questions there. For now, catch y'all later. If this video has helped you and you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video. We're staying safe from the DMCA.